Hey everyone, welcome back to our third podcast. Number three. Oh, number three. Yeah, yeah. Number three, yeah third. That is so crazy. Um, for the people that don't know me, my name is Eric Reyes. I am the executive producer here at Reyes Events. Um, I have Ruben joining us, like always. Jasmine. And today we have a very special guest. I have my best friend, Laura. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> she came in and she was like, I need more lighting and a whole production. And I was like, oh. girl, not even me, right? Yeah, yeah. We got a lot, a lot more lights. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> way more lights than before so we might look a little little whiter or a little browner whatever it is but i guess it's good got more lighting not enough microphones <laughs> no, right. enough microphones <laughs> damn <laughs> throwing us under the bus that was already. a pedrada for over here for our um production manager in my defense i went to try to look for a mic and i couldn't find another mic so it's, it's, that's we'll my. make do <laughs> yeah uh, black fries are on the corner so <laughs> we might be able to find something um but today we have an interesting topic and allowed your you're the guest today can you share with us today's the topic? topic is yeah um so today we're going to be discussing the history of quinceañeras and if you should force your youth to have a quinceañera in the first place mm. oh that's actually really good um jasmine you did have a quinceañera did you want to have one or was it like or were you um, forced at first i did not want to have one but i feel like as i saw like friends and family members have a quinceanera then i wanted one so mm -hmm. it was like a year plan so i it wasn't forced i wanted one okay so i'm actually very um excited about this topic um but before we get into sharing a uh, laura's going to be sharing her experience because she was forced to have a quinceanera and um and then Jasmine's going to be sharing, too, because she did, she was not forced to have one. She actually wanted to have one. So it's pretty cool that we have two different perspectives, right? I think we need to get into the history of quinceañera. Wait, do you, Ruben, do you know the history of a quinceañera? Oh, man, you're putting me on the spot. Well, what, from what I know, I think it's just an excuse to throw a big party. Okay. And <laughs> to see your uncle drink, and then like probably for most of the younger people, you drink your first beer in a quinceanera. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I, I, I think a lot of the times it's just more about the party, and people say it's la tradición, right? It's la tradición para tener una quinceanera. But what's the history, and cómo comenzó? How did it get started? So I know that Laura did some research so she's gonna give us some facts and kind of like a quick overview of like when Ooh. did the quinceanera started well um yeah I've always been the type of person to ask why ever since I was young and the quinceanera never really appealed to me mm -hmm. um it was like very girly and then like the big dress and everything just didn't really appeal to me um so I I started asking like why do we even have those to begin with from very early on? Um, what I knew briefly then mm -hmm. was that it was kind of like a, we're going to show off our daughter. She's becoming a woman. And um, I had heard, I don't remember how I came to find this out, but I heard that it was like, mi hija está lista para casarse, you know? So, like, like, yeah. so it's like a ready. marriage. So you kind of like yeah. present yeah. her, like show her off, kind of like show her off in a way saying, hey, She's ready. Well, because back then, too, people didn't live as long as they used to, right? Wasn't the life expectancy, li I don't know, like... Uh, I think I it was like 30s or 40s. 30s or 40s, yeah. yeah so 15, you're halfway there. You're pretty... Yeah, y la estás presentando a la sociedad. Mm -hmm. You're letting her know she's ready to go. Yes, una mujer. Uh, let's bring all the guys who are single, who... Um, que la puedan comprar. Because it takes it back to that. Yeah. You're, the, the parents the tradition, were right? selling their daughter. Like, she's yeah. ready to go. Who's going to be able to like, like be able to provide for her, but at the same time, provide to the family mm -hmm. um, and financially as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. So what I found is that it actually dates back to, like, around 500 B.C. 500 B.C. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. God, I was thinking, like. 2004 or something. <laughs> no, that, <laughs> no, it's not MTV, my sweet 16 my That's when my I first started seeing Quinceanera. <laughs> 2004. Yeah. Was that in 2004? The good old days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so the boys were, you know, psyched up to be warriors, and the girls were getting prepared for marriage. They were taught how to cook, how to weave. Um, they were taught about childbearing. And then after the Europeans arrived, um, then the cultures kind of started merging some more and um, you know they, they, then it started to be more about status yeah. of like 
uh, these women, these girls or women, young women mm -hmm. are going to carry our heirs. They're going to be the ones to, you know, extend our familial ties. Yeah. You know? right. um, and, you know, then over time it starts changing even more to showing your status or just having a huge elaborate party for your daughters, um, which I think now it's not so much about the marriage. At least I hope not. Oh, no, <laughs> girl, I've been doing this for like more than like 10 years. I could tell you that it's, nobody's getting married. Um, I think it's more it, it has become more of like the a, a status. Yeah. Right. How how much money could you spend in a quinceañera? And how unique and different is it going to be from everyone well, else? I don't think it's also about the money. Also, I, I still think that it's more tradition, too. Like, different, because we've been to different quinceaneras where, um, I don't know which one's the one where they take out their freaking bowl thing. And some oh, of them take yeah. out, some of them take out, like, uh, another one. Uh, I can't think of uh, from the top of my head what other traditions they do, or the, uh, the giving out the bread to everybody. Oh yeah, there's, yeah. Just, there's different. Yeah, traditions. if they're from like Oaxaca or Michoacan mm -hmm. or even Jalisco, each city and each pueblo actually has, uh, yeah, has a different mm -hmm. um, way of celebrating a quinceañera. And I think, yeah, I, I think it, honestly it depends on the family. There's some families out there that just like it for like, oh, we have money, we're gonna be flashy. And then there's actually other families that really do the traditions that they follow, right? Yeah. Um, I haven't heard anything about the marriages, but once again, we don't know if, like, in Mexico or another Latin America... I think in Mexico is, like, countries. very modernized, more... Yeah. Uh, more production, yeah. too. And I think Maybe, yeah. because, you know, what Ruben brought up is the life expectancy uh, yep, is getting right. longer and longer. So, yeah, yeah parents are not looking not to marry yeah. off their, their young daughters so like early. That. Yeah, yeah. It, was, well, it was crazy to bigger than back then. Fifteen, <coughs> you, you already wanted your daughter to get married at sixteen. And yeah. By seventeen or eighteen, they already had kids or something. Well, maybe after. Yeah, 16. like correr. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, let's go. You're ready to go. Come on, like make, make you're twelve. <laughs> Star, I need you to make some tortillas right now. <laughs> Give him grandchildren so they can help pay the house. Yeah, because the pago de la casa, de los terrenos. Uh -uh. So and two chickens get an egg or whatever they sold back then. The you food. know which is so wild, too, because um, sometimes now a lot of people go into debt. Um, oh, yeah. Throwing quinceañeras. And back then it was like we were going to get something in return. Yeah. yeah. That is so oh, crazy. Really? That is. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. L look at how much people are. W what's the minimum? That you guys think that people are spending in a quinceañera? Minimum at least ten thousand. Like I, I can. I think fifteen. Fifteen. I think fifteen. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen to twenty. Fifteen <gasps> to twenty thousand. I will bring it higher. I, I disagree with both of you. I, you I think, have the receipts. I, yeah, I have us. the receipts. <laughs> Let me put them out right now. No, I think it, it starts between a twenty and thirty up to forty. Okay. Look at the venues. Even just a venue, a basic venue here, it's six thousand dollars. That's do just a venue. You can throw it in the backyard. You don't need a venue. That's what that, that is that's true. That's what we did for my king singing. Yeah, yeah okay. my backyard. Okay, well, I think that's gonna lead us to <laughs> uh, uh, to the the conversation of like, why didn't you want to have a quinceañera? Well, I mean, I grew up in a low-income household, so I... Girl, we all did, trust yeah. me. <laughs> padrinos, that's what padrinos are. Where the padrinos at? Yeah. I didn't really, I, like, didn't really even want to ask people to be my padrinos because okay. I didn't have a close relationship like that with everyone. Or so I, I thought, you know, mm, that's my okay. understanding. And I was, like, the weird one <laughs> in the family. So, you were watching Rebelde, I bet. <laughs> um, I actually didn't watch it. <laughs> didn't. I don't know how I, we're friends. I knew of it, but I was like, more, you know, growing up in a family, I was like in the United States, I was watching more English uh, TV than yeah. anything. So I didn't watch a, a, as much Spanish TV. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I definitely probably would have if I did watch it more. Did you watch La Rosa de Guadalupe? <laughs> I uh, oh. I watched it later on in life. Yeah, yeah. but not yeah. as a teenager. Not as a teenager. Uh, but okay, so um, you were not close to your family members, or they want to ask for padrinos. Yeah, and so I was, you know, I was one worried about how it was gonna turn out. I knew it wasn't gonna be anything like what I saw on TV, because of course at the time uh, my sweet sixteen was like so big, and yeah. you saw people getting all these. Nice oh, mis quince cars. años. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and MTV. Yeah. Um, and I knew I wasn't gonna get anything like that. And two, I also was asking the whys, you know, the history of where does it come from? Is that something that I want for myself? I didn't feel very 
I was a, I was a tomboy. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. I was very tomboyish. It wasn't for me. And I decided, like, if we're going to spend that much money on something, I'd much rather have a car. Yeah. You know, I wanted a car. I was getting to be independent. And so I did ask my parents for a car. And they're like, no, and you're going to get a My dad it. said yes. I was so oh. surprised. Yeah, my dad Damn. said yes. Your dad was like, suponga a trabajar. Que pague los miles. <laughs> 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 Your dad was smart. Your dad was like, let's get her to work. <laughs> exactly. And they did do that for my sister after me. Um, but, f- you know, afterwards I had a conversation with my tia. And she was like, I, you know, mija, it's la tradición, it's la cultura. Think about it. You know, everyone's going to be there for you, the family. And, I mean, it was great because my, my abuelita came from, um, she would be so mad if she knew I called her abuelita right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending her this video. <laughs> um, yeah, she came from Mexico. And my tío also came, one of my tíos came. And so it was really nice to know that they cared about me but it was not i was not happy that day i was not happy at all yeah it was the some of my um guests actually got their tires slashed um, Uh because the neighbor was so upset that they were parking on the street that uh, i think that's one of the downsides of when you have it at your backyard you don't know how your neighbors are going to react or they're going to call the cops and the cops are going to stop the party Mm -hmm. um so yeah that's a little a little drama there did you have to pay for the tires? Um, I didn't know. <laughs> I did. Not as far as I remember. Damn. Yeah, I mean, I got to choose the color that I wanted. Okay. But um, the dress, I liked it. Um, and my friends were there, so I loved that. But no me gustó mi peinado. The, you know, the choreography was all done by us. So okay. I was like, yes and no about it. Um I chose my chambelan as my my it was my boyfriend. Yeah, time. and I, and I told you I keep telling girls don't do that, pero you know, están enamoradas and they think they're gonna be together forever. And yeah, when I was listening to your podcast, I was laughing so hard because I was like, yes, please don't do that. Yeah, when you break up, he's gonna be in your in your pictures forever. Forever. <laughs> but going back to something that you mentioned earlier is that your tia was there and telling you about tradition. Um, it sounds like you were pre pressure to do a quinceañera mm-hmm. by your family members of like, no, you're having one. Um, oh, it is mujer, right? Mm-hmm. You need to have a quinceañera. Yeah. Why are you, like, así la familia se une. No, it's not. You go still la familia todavía se puede unir. Mm-hmm. You know, pero are we looking de, para unirnos or are we looking for a good peda? Yeah. 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 I mean. Like, like, being realistic, like. Yeah, I, it wasn't like, you're going to have it porque lo vas a tener, okay. you know? But it was like a constant conversation. And so it made me feel pressured to be like, well, they really want me to have a quinceañera. They think it's really special. So I chose. And that day, um, I wanted to not have any alcohol because there was like, ooh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. uh, I want to wait, wait, wait one second. Let me stop you. uh, Hold. What's your opinion, Ruben, going to a quinceañera with no alcohol? Well, I mean. Damn, I think I don't think I've ever been to a container with no alcohol. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I probably wouldn't show up. Or if I did show up, I would probably have like a little, you know, little flask. flask and you know, drink here and there. I I've been to a quinceañera. Um, eran cristianos, so they did not have any alcohol. The boring. Um, and they didn't even have so regular music. They had music, mu- music crista- like Cristiana, mm-hmm. um, which I'm okay with that. You know, cada familia. Mm-hmm. Um, and the only people that were there are people de la iglesia, mm-hmm. you know? So there was not, like, the regular guests that they invited, que no eran parte de la iglesia, did not show up to the quinceañera. Yeah. So. And, and it, at the time, yeah, like, my family was Christian. Okay. So we had the whole, like, Christian ceremony and everything, okay. pero también tomaban. And so <laughs> it was, for me, there was problems with alcoholism in my family. Mm-hmm. And so I was already, I had a lot of trauma with it. And mm-hmm. so I was trying to prevent myself from experiencing more trauma. And I advocated and I said, I don't want alcohol at my party. And of course, that mentality of like, no se puede tener una quinceañera sin alcohol. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It, it came through all the way to the point that my boundaries were crossed. And yeah. so it made me very resentful. I was really angry that day. And it's one of like, it's something I never want to yeah. remember again. Like the, the pictures, ya no las tenemos, or they're somewhere, but they're 
like hidden away. I tried. I told her, look for the photos. I want to see you <laughs> in your puffy God. dress. She's like, no. She calls her mom and her mom's like, I can't find the photos. I'm pretty sure Laura, she knows where they're at. I probably burned Tyler, them. She probably <laughs> cut out the boyfriend. <laughs> and the boyfriend part, she's like, uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that if you are a youth that is not feeling so sure about having a quinceañera, you should talk to your parents about it or even some adult that you trust um, and do what is going to make you happy. Like I now I, you know, I think quinceañeras are cha like have changed oh, over yeah, the past um, and youth are willing to advocate for themselves more. Um, and I hope that parents listen, you know, to let them have it how they want to. Because if you're going to say, oh, it's estudia especial. Yeah. Let it be their special day. Yeah, because a lot of the times it, when me and Jasmine are meeting with the clients and doing the initial intake and paperwork, a lot of the times is like the mom, mm -hmm. sometimes the dad, but a lot of the times it's either the mom, the older sibling, or another family member of like, es lo que yo quiero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the quinceañera is like, but I don't want to dance that. Yeah. No, vas a hacer esto porque yo digo que vas a hacer esto. Mm -hmm. Porque yo creo que se va a ver bonito. Mm -hmm. Right? And even for the mm -hmm. dresses too, right, Jasmine? The dresses, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, what has been your experience when, um, like, parents come in? I feel like even when girls try on the dresses, they'll be like, I like this certain yeah. style. And they'll be like, no, but I like that one better. And I feel like there's that, um, pues yo estoy pagando. Yeah. So tienes que escoger lo que yo quiero. Lo que yo quiero. And at the end of the day, I'm like, wait, so is it for you yeah. or is it for your daughter i think on uh, another thing that i've seen is a lot of the times las mamas no tuvieron quinceañera mm. so they're like trying to make it their party yes in their head yeah like oh i didn't like oh le dicen a su hija well tiene suerte that i'm like making you a quinceañera because i didn't have one mi mamá tuvo quinceañera and i think that's why cuando yo le dije oh uh, me pueden comprar un carro they were so willing to be like yes you know, okay. she, my mom experienced it, um, which was really surprising to me because okay. I always got told no. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, did you get your car? Um, no. No, <laughs> I didn't. No, she had a quinceañera. I got <laughs> a quinceañera. At the end of the day. <laughs> your dad lied to you. What was that? Your dad lied to you then. He said, no, who was the one that said that? Yes. Was my my dad and my mom yeah. said oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I feel that maybe other family members too of like, no, she needs to have. Uh, you're the oldest, right? I am the oldest. So, también es, like, es tu it, primera, yeah. es, la, es la primer, tu primera hija, like, como no va a tener quinceañera. Mm -hmm. So, I feel in a way también se sintieron como de, we need, like, she needs to have one. Yeah. Um, which, Jasmine, you were not forced, right? For you, it was like, no. I, you did want a quinceañera. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, and, and my, uh, my mom and dad, when I told okay. them, Oh, uh, yo creo que sí quiero quinceañera. Hasta se sorprendieron. They were like, oh, like, oh yeah, we got oh, an excuse to drink now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're, they're like... Uh, um, a passage right there drinking tequila. So back yeah. there, I, I don't think there was like a WhatsApp no app. I don't think there was a WhatsApp app there, so I'm pretty sure por el teléfono. Like, sí, sí, aquí quiso quinceañera. Yeah, MySpace. Yeah. You guys had MySpace. They probably had MySpace. Oh, yeah, back in that time like, it was MySpace. Yeah, yeah. were your parents yeah. active on MySpace? My mom was. Oh, really? so she yeah. was like, hey, sí quiso quinceañera. <laughs> So like the background with the pitbull or the song because you can uh, remember you can put music when yeah. they go on your profile. Your dad driving to the grocery store to go get the beer. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing he's also, like, oh, let's I made it very emo because I was like, well, if it's gonna be Mikey thing, it's gonna be an emo. Was your dress quinceanera. black? It was red. It was oh. um like one of the dresses that you have in here is like a red dress oh, like yeah. that color. I like okay. it was yeah. a black dress. Okay, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Laura's was very rockera too. Yeah. Viva el rock! Oh, Viva el rock! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I feel that um, parents should have a conversation with their hijo or hija, you know, because now it's changing where I'm kind of happy that guys are saying, mm -hmm. I want a quinceañero. If my sister had one, I want one too. So I, I, we're starting to see that like change change in the perspective that people have. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I have also seen parents that come in and they're like, no, my oldest didn't want a quinceañera, but my youngest did. So mm -hmm. we're like, now she's having a quinceañera. Yeah. So I think it's having that communication mm -hmm. of like, am I doing it for me? 
or am I doing it for them? Because mm-hmm. I'm like, if you're a mom or dad and you want to party, throw yourself a party. Mm-hmm. Like, if, you, if you're a mom, get yourself a puffy dress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and I say, I think it's the perfect opportunity to get to know your youth, yeah. right? Uh, porque yo tuve una, and then my sister after me no tuvo, okay. and then my sister after her, she had one. Um, and she was, like, more, like, popular. Yeah. Tenía más amigos. So you should know whether your kid has friends to begin with <laughs> to invite to the party, you know? Like, who are they? Do they like that? Um, get to True. know your youth and whether they're going to enjoy a quinceañera to begin with or a quinceañero to begin with. Yeah, or is it going to add trauma to them? Exactly. Anxiety. Mm-hmm. Think about the anxiety. Oh, I cannot imagine being 14 years old and being forced to be in the spotlight. And if mm-hmm. you're somebody that you don't like yeah. the spotlight, you don't like mm-hmm. that attention, like that could give you a lot of anxiety and that could lead to you looking to do other stuff to mm-hmm. kind of like numb that anxiety. Yeah. Um, so I think definitely looking into that. Um, but guys, I really enjoyed the topic that we had. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it was very, um, I'm looking for the right word. Um, Hay cuatro cabezas aquí. Ed- Nobody's helping me think. I'm, I'm like, oh my God. Educating. Uh, yeah. Educating. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Being bilingual. I you didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, sometimes I just want people to interrupt. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Es que luego se me va. Luego comienzo. And I, I need to come back to earth. Um, then I start feeling all celebrity status. <laughs> uh, but I want to say, Laura, thank you for um, joining us on our third podcast and sharing your experience yeah. um, and uh, letting uh, other people know of like a little bit of like the history of the quinceañeras and at the same time, like telling parents, communicate with your child, yeah. like mm-hmm. let them know, is that something that you want? Yeah. And not forcing them or tricking them into, that's another thing that I've seen, like tricking mm-hmm other youth of like hey if you have a quinceañera or quinceañero i'm gonna give you this Mm -hmm. you're gonna get the car that you want and yeah and then after that it's like no you already had a quinceañera a quinceañero Mm -hmm. um so i think it's one thing that we could take from this podcast is i think it's communication um and having that conversation and yeah. seeing who's going to benefit. Yeah, and I definitely do think uh, quinceañeras can be very beautiful. Oh, my God, yeah. And they're a very uniting experience um, if you have it with, yeah. like, all your family members and everything. So I don't want people to take away that I'm, like, a quinceañera <laughs> hater. I am not. Um, Hashtag. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> not a quinceañera hater. Um, if you have a quinceañera, invite me. I'm always down to party. Bing, bing, bing. We'll be there. <laughs> um, or hire Reyes events if you're in mm-hmm. Washington. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I have alcohol though because you know, <laughs> I like beer. So, because <laughs> cerveza, you don't. It's you, your choice. It's your choice. Don't feel. <laughs> we will. St- we will still go. <laughs> Maybe not Ruben, but tiene que ir porque tiene que trabajar. He's working. He can't be drinking. Yeah, I know. What are you talking, boy? What, right what do you mean? Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> going back. Well, I just want to say once again, thank you, Laura, Laura, for joining us today. And thank you, everyone, who um, took the time to watch um, our third podcast. podcast. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like. Make sure to follow us on our TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. You can find us as Reyes Events. Um, and see you guys in our fourth episode. Fourth podcast. And ask questions or give us topics. Oh, yeah. Leave your comment below. See you guys. Bye.